12.30 in the morning. It's uh, August 28th, Sunday. Um, we got one nice 24 inch hatchery in the boat. Just uh, trying to hunt down bait. The bait uh, is a little dispersed this morning. So it's a little hard to figure out where we need to be, but um, I just got a call that it's a little bit further south up in Commencement Bay, so we're scooting that way a little bit. Um, past that, hopefully we can get another fish in here. And uh, the fish we did catch was at 30 feet deep. All right. No, just there's not much we can do here. I'm just trying to keep them away from that rigger. Here, want me to roll that one up? Yeah, go ahead. Okay. Is that your third dogfish? No. I'm just giving you a shit now. Yep. Is he still on? Oh, yeah, he's still on. Oh, yeah. Hey, Mom, I'll watch this pull. Usually we get double ups. Okay, I'm watching it. <sighs> do, 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 do. Man, the mountain looks pretty. What's up? I, you'd be amazed at how cool everyone is out here oh, when, when you have a fish on. My default mom when we're fishing is just to try and turn to deeper water. That's usually what I do. Out here it's so deep it doesn't matter. But that's just kind of a good... Because these boats will kind of pigeonhole me into uh, shallower water when the boat traffic's really heavy. Yeah. And I end up having to worry about if I have a downrigger down still. Right. So when I have a gap, I just go for deeper water. I don't know why that looks like he came off for a sec. That made me nervous. Oh yeah. That's a go -ho. Okay, I'll take a look. Bad time to act up, real. I just re spooled him. Okay. He turned us just slightly to the right, Mom, just a little bit. That's a coho. I'm just doing a triple check before I pull them in. Nice job, Dad. Nice job. You gonna set them right there? Yeah. High five. Very nice. All right. Nice fish. Well, so I think we're gonna be looking at a bit of a short day today. The bite hasn't been too hot all day, even with the tide change. Can't be good every day. Um, working a little bit deeper. Uh, one rod down at 50 feet and one at 40 feet. Uh, it's about, I think it's about 920. Um, we'll see what we can do. Try to put a little herring scent on one of the hoochies, see if that would help. Oh, I'm just waiting for, uh, a rip to form out here, uh, kind of off Owens Beach in the boathouse, and then we'll try fishing the seam on the rip. So maybe that'll turn up something, or else this could be the end of the video. We'll go from there. 
All right, so we just saw a bunch of uh, seagulls over here on Point Delco, so I just ran across to Point Delco. Um, we're about an hour into the uh, outgoing tide. A lot of birds and a pretty good sized rip here. We're gonna fish for a while. See if that produces. There. Mom, are you moving that? I'm... Yeah, but you're gonna want to net them quick. Dad? I can't see anything. Keeps running at me. Just watch out for logs, mom, or anything like that. Okay. God damn, he's running at me. Yeah. You gonna jump out there? Yeah. Okay. Okay, he's coming in. All right, here, he's behind the motor. Mom, turn to the uh, right a little bit. Dad, let's net him. There he comes. He's in there. It's a swamp monster. There we go. Coming in. Coming in. Oh, he's spitting the hook and you got him. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Oh, oh, we got we to leave him there. Oh, no, he's a silver. You can bring him in. Look at that. He snapped my line. That was awesome. Okay, pull it back, pull it back. We're losing too much. All right, well, the switch from uh, the slag pile to Point Delco and the ferry terminal on the outgoing tide was, uh, it was a good move. We saw all the birds and just shimmied across. Um, kind of northern commencement bay there and uh, right across from Owens Beach we hooked up with uh, a nice probably 20 inch uh, king he was safely released in the water um, and then uh, lost a couple more over here beside the boat on the way to the boat and then we did manage to land a second coho for today um, right here an awesome fish probably about a 25 inch coho so we have a 24 incher and a 25 inch in the boat today um, I think we have another shaker on anyway we're probably gonna call it a wrap it's about 11 o'clock head in clean the fish and try it again tomorrow oh I do need to add on that last coho we caught the line snapped as the fish landed in the net we were two inches away from missing that fish it was pretty funny how it worked out the leader snapped and uh, just as we got the fish in the net so it was close we made it it's in yeah that's all for today <laughs>